the one thing that all Jezebels do. Okay, this is the absolute number one thing that all Jezebels who are in relationships with the guys now do while they're in relationships with these guys. And that is that even though they're with a man and they've got a man, they continue to live and act as if they're still single. They still hang out with all of their single girlfriends. They still post like half naked selfies on their social media as if they're still single. They respond to guys in their DM as if they're still single. They flirt with guys as if they're still single. They go clubbing as if they're still single. And the thing is, is if you're in a relationship and you want to go do those things and live life as if you're still single, don't be in a relationship, okay? You can't have your cake and eat it too. And this is just something that Jezebels always do because Jezebels are constantly forever narcissistic. All they think about is themselves. All they care about is themselves. They don't care about you, fellas. Jezebels are incapable of caring about you. They're evil, right? They are just evil, evil creatures, right? They don't care about you. They only care about themselves. And they're very hedonistic in that way too, where it's like they want the comfort of being in a relationship, right? They want to have somebody to come home to. They want to have somebody that um, they can go out with and spend time with. But whenever they're not with you, they take it upon themselves to act as if they're still single, right? They take it upon themselves to do that because Jezebels constantly need attention, right? That's the thing. A lot of Jezebels um, overwhelmingly were raised by a single mother. They were not raised in a two-parent household. They were raised in a broken home. So they themselves are broken. They don't have the ability to function in a healthy relationship because they never saw that growing up. They don't know what that's like, right? And even if they had a stepdad in their life, that stepdad was usually pretty beta. He was pretty weak. Um, she witnessed him getting just kind of like ran over by her single mom constantly. And so she thinks that she could do the same with men as an adult, right? And she has no respect for men. You know, and that's the thing about Jezebels is they, they don't respect you. They can't respect you. And you can't be with somebody like that, right? Who's gonna constantly act as if they're single while they're in a relationship with you. I know you've had girlfriends like this, right? If you think back on your exes, I've had them too. It's like you're in a relationship with this chick. She called you her boyfriend. You call her your girlfriend. You're in this monogamous relationship with her, but she continues to act like she's single whenever she's not around you. Or sometimes she doesn't even, she does it in front of your face, right? If she really doesn't respect you, right? She'll do it right in front of your face just to spike you. Beware, because there are a lot of these chicks out there these days and the mainstream is encouraging women to be like this, to act like this, to act out and you know, behave like Jezebels. So you're seeing a lot of these like very weak-minded women who just kind of like zombies. They can't think for themselves. Oh, this is the way I should act. This is the way I should act. They can't think for themselves. And then they get in relationships with guys like you, you know, you can be a good guy. And she is just ripping you apart emotionally. It's like, you're just going nuts because you really like her, really care about her. That's the thing about Jezebels. They have an allure about them, right? They have an allure about them. It's like, oh, I just want to nail this chick down. And I just want her to be like down and be mine. And that's, that's kind of the rub is you can't because Jezebels were never meant for that, right? They were never meant for that. Jezebels were meant for the streets, right? What, I, what did I say uh, in a previous coaching video? If she cheats, she belongs to the streets. Jezebels very much belong to the streets because even while she's in a relationship with you, okay? It's, it's like you have to grow some eyeballs in the back of your head whenever you're dating a chick like that, whenever you're dating a Jezebel. You have to grow some eyeballs in the back of your head because whenever you're not around that chick, believe me, she's gonna be up to no good, okay? She's gonna be responding to other guys like on social media. She might be liking their photos, following other dudes, flirting with other dudes, whether it's on social media or at work or at her gym even, probably dating other guys behind your back and it just doesn't bother her, right? It doesn't even flinch. It's like, this is just all par for the course. This is all just part of her natural hardwiring. Why? Because she's evil, because she's a Jezebel, okay? Because she's a Jezebel. So if you're in a relationship with a girl now, right? Who acts like she's still single, still hangs out with single girlfriends, 
is still running around as if she's still single, still bar hopping as if she's single. You need to DTB, right? DTB, dump that bitch. Tom Likas, right? Dump that bitch. You need to DTB because that's exactly what she is. What have I told you guys? You can't turn a hoe into a housewife. Jezebels are hoes, right? They're hoes, they're thoughts. They're just way too promiscuous to be in a monogamous, healthy relationship with you. And if you try to change them, which you can't, and you try to like, you know, uh, try to like trap them in this relationship with you, you're just gonna go nuts. You're gonna go nuts trying to watch her. You're gonna go crazy, like wondering it, where she is half the time. She's say she's a couple hours late. You're gonna be like, Ugh, right? You're gonna think she's up to no good. And you know what? You're probably right. She probably is up to no good. Most good women, they come home. Most good women, you text them, they answer their phone, right? If she's your girlfriend and you text that chick, she answers her phone. She doesn't disappear for hours at a time, right? You call her, she'll pick up the phone. You're dating a Jezebel, you call her a Jezebel, she won't pick up, right? And if she happens to pick up, it'll be by accident and you're like, hello, where are you? Click, then she'll get home like the next day, go, oh, uh, the battery must've cut out or something like that. You don't wanna date these girls, guys. Any girl who gets into a relationship and still act single is a huge, huge red flag. And this is just something that Jezebels tend to do. They jump into relationships and they continue to act single. It's like these girls who, who jump into relationships and they still have like have hang out with all of these single female friends of theirs. It's like, dude, how do you think those girls are gonna influence her if you're in a relationship with her? Right? Why are these bitches all still single? And why do they keep calling you? Why do they keep trying to pull you out? What kind of influence are these hoes? Whereas when you date a good woman, a non-Jezebel, right? She'll have friends who are like her. And most of her friends, I guarantee, are going to be in relationships too. They'll have boyfriends and they'll be like, oh yeah, let's, let's double date. Let's go all go on a trip together. Let's go do this together. It's always like together, together, together. Whereas with a Jezebel, it's like me, me, me. Big difference, right? Good woman, together, together, together. Jezebel, me, me, me. It's all about me and my world. It's funny too, the second you cheat on a Jezebel, she'll flip out on you, right? She will flip out, oh, how could you, how could you? It's part of the hypocrisy of being a Jezebel. They can't see their own hypocrisy. Why, because they're evil. What do I tell you guys? These chicks are evil, period, period. So if you're ever in a relationship with a girl who continues to act single, still has these single, like thought female friends of hers still hanging out, you need to DTB. Dump that bitch because she's only gonna cause havoc, headache, and chaos in your life. She's just gonna be a train wreck in your life. Do not girlfriend that chick, do not wife her up, and definitely do not have kids with her because you will regret it, I can guarantee you that. And with that said, I'm gonna wrap up here. Until next time, this is M from the 33 Secrets. I am signing out here from home, believe it or not. Yeah, I'm actually home, and there goes Gizzy over there. There goes my laptop. I'm about to do a live stream a little bit later. There's my notes on my phone for tonight's coaching video. And uh, yeah, gonna wrap up here. So don't forget to smash that like button below. Go ahead and smash it right now. Do it for me, appreciate it, okay? And. Also hit the notification bell right next to it so that you are notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on the YouTube. More importantly guys, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a ton when you guys subscribe to the channel because obviously YouTube doesn't want to promote me anymore. So uh, I need your help, right? I need your help and I need you to subscribe to my channel. It helps me out with the YouTube algorithm since they don't want to help me. I need you guys, right? I need you to help me. And for you guys who want to support my work and all of this red pill, gold pill, and platinum pill content even further, the best way to do that is by jumping into my monthly online coaching program, Seven Months to Mastery, where I'm teaching guys just like you how to go out there and approach and close the youngest, hottest, and most beautiful looking women on the planet. I'm talking about eights, nines, and tens, the hottest girls out there. These are the same type of girls that myself and my students are out there cold approaching and closing every single week. And believe me when I tell you, we're making it happen every single week. That's my clock, by the way, don't worry about that. <laughs> 
Make it happen every single week, guys. Rain or shine, no matter what kind of pandemic is going on, no matter what kind of divisiveness is going on we are out there living our lives and cold approaching the youngest hottest and most beautiful looking women on the planet and i want you to join us and right now it's only one buck for the entire first month of coaching lessons in seven months of mastery right it's only one dollar for the entire first month of coaching lessons so take advantage of it okay take advantage of it uh and all you need to do is click that link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds, so do that now. This is the absolute best way to support my work. Again, it's only one buck for the entire first month of coaching lessons from me. Who can't afford a dollar? And if you love me, this is the absolute best way to support me. So jump into Seven Months of Mastery. Just click that link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds. So do that now, and I will see you in my next coaching video.